Okay, so here's another video, and today we'll be doing this garden I've just picked up. Um, so, yeah, you can tell it hasn't been cut at all this year yet. Probably hasn't been done since last summer at some point. So it's not it's not too big of a garden, it's on the smaller size. It just needs uh, to be cut, and um, yeah. So I'll film that, tap the delete the previous clips on the other day because there was um well I only had 40 minutes left of recording time um but yeah it's just you know it's not too bad it obviously needs doing but I think once it's been cut and with regular mowing it should be all right this actually looks like this looks like this was seeded last year at some point there must be something here sort of something around maybe like a kid's pool or Something here that was there, um, that was being seeded. Um, yeah, there's a few twigs I'll pick up from this birch tree I can just sort of throw behind that fence. Um, yeah, so I'll just sit, I'll just sit you up on the camcorder.
right, so with this unit, the DUX18Z combi and the uh, Shimmer Head kills full battery here and it's used half of it, which is about right, really. Yeah, this this trimmer can't really cope with longer, thicker grass like this very well. It can do it, but it'll take a lot longer. So you're gonna want a um, you're gonna want a petrol one for this, or at least something at least 36, 40 volt. Because th this is fine. This is fine for just um, regular grass cutting and stuff, you know, like, you know, normal length. But when you get into stuff like this, yeah, you're going to want something a bit more powerful. Or, because this also drains the battery very quick, even normally, you're going to want a, at least two batteries. So otherwise, you're just, you know, you're not going to do any other guns after this. Something very small, but when, as soon as it hits 50% power, 50% battery, it basically drains at half the power, so you're not going to have much. And yeah, because of it being like this, you know, longer and sort of thick in places when it hangs you know and it all flattens on top of each other as well it doesn't it makes it a bit harder but i've done it 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 just took a lot longer than it would if you had something more powerful so i'm just going to blow it all now blow it all back onto the grass and best i can and i'll just start the mowing i'll start the high setting first and this is on full battery as well, you know, fully charged 9 amps, so you have to see how much it can do. High ascent first, then just gradually lower it down to whatever I want it to do on 4 and 3, 3 and 2. Depends. Right.
Okay, so that's the end of that. So I went over it three times in total. The highest setting first to get all the bulk down. Four and three. So a few settings lower to you know cut it down. And then I thought it needs to go down one, one more, which it yeah, it did. So definitely a lot better than before when it started with. So this as long as this is regular regularly mowed now like every two weeks or something then this should be should be okay there's a few bits that are you know flattened but you know it's being cut but it's flattened from somewhere you know like it was so long and thick but eventually they'll stand up and you'll cut them down the next time um yeah it looks all right now yeah it does look a bit brown but it's because you have uh, it was literally taking like a foot worth of growth off potentially even more in some places that's what you can expect for the you know cutting all this growth but um eventually you know in a couple of weeks when you start mowing it regularly it'll come out more green again and it's just how thick the grass is if it's quite thick and long you expect it to be brown for the first cut even on you know if on quite high setting you expect it to be brown to taking off so much in one go one go you're supposed to only take a third of the you know grass laid off so if you leave it to get really long then this will happen but this side isn't too bad because it wasn't as long this is the newer part that was seeded i think it looks like so yeah it definitely does look a lot better um yeah comment your thoughts down below or anything if you've got this far which no one probably would have done uh battery on the mower so it started on 100 percent Um, sixty. I thought it said fifty, but yeah, sixty percent. So I think definitely the ground being dry and uh, having the blade sharpened does make a big difference. Because if this was Tuesday and did the other, you know, the full day, that would have drained it completely. Uh, the trimmer, it did all right. It not not so well because it, I know what it's like with this type of grass anyway this long thick stuff it doesn't cope really it's only 18 volt it needs to be more powerful and probably a thicker line because it is only 2 mil this yeah, so probably if you have like a 2.4 2.7 and probably a 36 or 40 volt at least or obviously a petrol yeah that would cope pretty easily but yeah you, normally regularly this should be fine so um it proves that bat this battery mower and a lot of battery stuff isn't weak. It can deal with some pretty stuff, some pretty tough stuff. <laughs>